Welcome back everyone, welcome back. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the new year so far and hopefully you've had a chance to get out into the backcountry and get some hiking, camping, or even backpacking in. I just got done with my first winter backpacking trip for the season about a week and a half ago and I absolutely froze my butt off. The temperatures were in the upper 20s but I got hit with freezing rain pretty much the entire first day that I was out there. Unfortunately, I won't be doing a trip video this time around. It was just way too cold and way too wet to get much decent footage. So instead, I thought I'd do a gear hacks and kind of tips and trick video. There's been quite a few things that I've been wanting to share with you guys for a while. So let's get started. Alright, so before I get too far into the tips and hacks in this video, I want to make note that some of them are actually dependent on the gear items that I have with me here. So if you don't have some of this gear, they may or may not apply to you. But let's get started with my cook system and how I actually pack this one up when I'm going backpacking. So right here I have the Tokes 450 milliliter titanium pot and inside here I have a four ounce fuel canister as well as my BRS 3000 titanium stove. Now typically when I'm going on a backpacking trip, I'll just throw my canister in here, I'll put the stove right on top, put the pot lid on, throw it in the bag and I'm ready to go. But one problem I always run into is that the stove prevents the lid from closing all the way and that makes it difficult to get inside this bag and get it cinched down nice and tight. So what I've started doing recently is I'll actually put my fuel canister in the pot upside down, which leaves a pretty big area for me to put not only my stove, but even a small Bic lighter in here as well. And then I'm able to get the pot securely fastened on here, get this in the bag nice and easy, cinch it down, and I'm ready to go. Pro tip number one for you. So on to gear hack number two, and that has to deal with my trekking pole. Now at first glance, this is a pretty standard looking trekking pole. You got your cork handle here, carbon fiber shaft, but one thing I've done to modify this for my backpacking trips is I've actually wrapped the shaft with tenacious tape. Now for those of you who aren't familiar with tenacious tape, it's a great tool to have in your backpack. If you ever need to do any repairs in the backcountry, whether it's a hole in your tent or a puncture in your sleeping pad, Tenacious Tape is a great way of putting a temporary fix in place until you can get that gear home and get it fixed permanently. Now the Tenacious Tape I got came in a pretty big roll here. I got this at REI, but you can get this from pretty much any standard outfitter out there. This was just a little bit much for what I needed for an overnight or even weekend backpacking trip. So what I did is I cut a section of this tape off and I wrapped it around my trekking pole. So what that does is that's one less item that I have to remember to pack in my backpack when I'm going on a trip. And it's just one less item that I have to worry about having in my backpack with me. Now, in terms of weight savings, this is really not gonna save me much, maybe an ounce if that, but again, it's just one less item that I have to worry about when I'm going on a backpacking trip. On to the next gear hack that I have for everyone, and this one has to deal with backpacking clothes. Now, depending on where I'm going and what the weather is gonna be like, I'll typically bring with me an extra set of clothes, whether it's socks, underwear, shirts, and even an extra set of pants. Now, typically what I would do is put all of that in its own compression bag and throw that into my backpack. But what I've started to do recently is I actually take all the clothes that I'm not hiking in and I'll throw them in the foot box of my sleeping bag and put all of that in its own compression bag. So what that's helped me do is just cut down on one extra bag that I have to worry about in my backpack. You know, when I'm getting to camp, getting all my gear out, ready to go, it's just one less bag that I have to worry about pulling out and getting set up. Last but not least, one nice thing about this is I have all my clothes ready to go in my sleeping bag. I don't have to worry about finding my compression bag with my clothes, getting all that unpacked, when I'm ready to go to bed, just unzip my sleeping bag, all my clothes are waiting there, ready to go. All right, so the next gear hack really isn't a hack, it's more of a tip, and that's using multi-purpose backpacking gear when you're out in the backcountry. 
So for example, I have this rollout sleeping pad here that I'll use for a couple different reasons. First and foremost, I'll use this under my inflatable sleeping pad to not only prevent it from moving around at night when I'm sleeping, but more importantly, it helps protect my inflatable pad from popping. If I didn't do a great job, you know, cleaning up where I put my tent, this is just one more layer in between my inflatable pad and the ground. And so far, it's done a great job at protecting my inflatable pad from getting punctured. The next thing I will use this for is a butt pad. So when you need to sit down, take a break, or you're at camp, you know, just winding down, just take this out, fold it up. You can put this on the ground, on a log or a rock, and it's just an added layer of cushion makes sitting down just that much more comfortable. Last but not least, I will use this as an added layer of cushion in my backpack as well. So when I need to store this while I'm hiking, I'll fold this up, put this against my back in the backpack, and then I'll throw all my gear in the backpack. This is just one more layer in between all my gear and my back, and it just adds a nice little cushion in between all of that gear. So I highly suggest when you're out looking for gear, keep an eye out on stuff that you might be able to use for a couple different purposes. Those are gonna be extremely valuable for you when you're out in the backcountry. All right, so the last tip that I have for everyone has got to be one of the more obvious tips that you'll see in the backpacking community, but it has to deal with storing your snacks that you're gonna eat while hiking. So my backpack here is the ULA Circuit. I just did a review video on this backpack, which I will link above. But one of the features I talked about was this large front mesh pocket here. Now onto the front of the pack here, you'll notice there's a very large external mesh pocket here. So what I'll do is I'll typically store any snacks that I'm gonna eat throughout the day right in this mesh pocket. It's really easy to get access to them when I need to take a break. I just sit down take my backpack off and they're right here ready to go. Now for the longest time with my Gregory pack, which actually had a zippered front pocket, I would never put my snacks in there. I'd put them in my food bag and put them in the main compartment, which ended up being a pain in the butt. When I was taking a break, I'd have to dig through my pack, find that food bag, find my snacks in there, and I spent most of my time actually looking for the food rather than actually eating it. So do yourself a favor, find out and figure out what you're gonna be eating while you're hiking and put it in an easily accessible place so when you're taking a break, you don't have to dig through your pack and pull everything out. Well, that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.